Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone, along with OJ, and this is the All-Star of the NBA of NBA 2K22 on 2K Sports. It's all next after this. <laughs> Hey y'all, we are here for this NBA matchup here of the All-Star of 2K22. And this time, we have seen the last game. It was at Atlanta, playing at Atlanta in Georgia. That we have here, in between LeBron and Team Durant. But right now, our next location is... It's going to be Cleveland, Ohio. And I also have OJ with me along the sideline. Welcome to the game of the All-Star. Glad to have you back with us. And I hope you really enjoyed it with the new skit of S.O. Beast skit. How does it feel at the back to be on the show? Oh, it's been great so far. Oh, I'm definitely doing really well. Keeping an eye on the uh, next team here. And most of all, importantly, we're doing really good so far. And of course, the new episode, it's turned out great so far. Not to mention already, I've always seen a lot of uh, competitors uh, switching into two, two uh, per team. Two competitors per team is just very crazy. I know, right? They were switching because all the team singers are leaving us behind. And they are all missing out, one of those players, including the best one that we've seen for last. It was you, OJ. That definitely turned out to be very tough, and also fan here too. But not to mention all the team sinkers, Tea Kettle, the fan of a rookie, and Blueberry, along with Life Ring too. Well, that's kind of a very tough one. Anyway, we got a good matchup here. What do you have here, Sonic Beast? We have Team Joel versus Team LeBron for the All-Star of 2K22. With that being said, the lineups are currently on the board. John Morant, Trey Young, Andrew Wiggins, Jason Tatum, and Joel Embiid. And your take on the other side, OJ, who do you have on Team LeBron? Stephen Curry, DeMar DeRozan, LeBron James, of course he's the king, the MVP Finals of Giannis Antetokounmpo, and a real MVP of Player of the Year, Nikola Jokic. And yes, guys, if you heard of last season, Nikola Jokic is turning out the best play ever that he has done here before. But this time, we're about to see what happens if there's any other choice. Let's send you over to Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse for Cleveland All-Star Game. This is the All-Star Game of the Eastern Conference and Western Conference teams of players. We are here at Cleveland, Ohio, and it's about to take things on, right from the game, and where we have it along. All players ready to go? What's your take here? My take is going to be uh, best player, I think, Team LeBron is doing awesome. I'm hoping there's another team streak ahead that they can try to face things on. And without the upset putting in here, it's going to be very tough to find out what's going to happen now. What a great start here for Stephen Curry. He's doing, doing pretty well. He's got a good drive out there. Now Moran, he has already been in the All-Star game since last season. Now he has already had played here before. Well, guys, what is your take here for John Moran of how well he does? For John Moran, he has done a, a lot of best work out there after facing up with a loss against Miami Heat. Last game of the couples, it was very hard. I understand why it's all turned out. And it's going to be very hard to try to figure this one out. But there is no uh, no other way that can, they can try to spread things over and over. I'm hoping John Moran can try to fix the problem if there's another way to get there. And yes, I totally agree here on OJ. They need to start spreading things across already. If they don't have enough time, then they got to start picking up the run. And they better hurry up. And they better uh, keep an eye on the ball fast. James, right over to Jokic for three. High low, and Andekupo rebound the ball. That will turn around the other way as Andekupo gets his first basket. Andekupo looking very good out here. A lot of plays turning out great. And Young, oh wow, what a fantastic drive. 
Young's got his first bucket here this one in from Atlanta. As the last All-Star game was being released here with a win of Team LeBron at Atlanta. Or if this calls for Team Durant with a win. I don't understand why, but it's going to be very tough. And another missed shot goes up here by Ben, ben Simmons. Oh, Curry, I'm sorry. I was thinking of it wrong, but now I'm just getting it right. Wiggins trying to put the move up here, and he goes right back to Morant. Right over here is MB. Five to shoot. Wiggins, low, low. Not too much to pick it up from here. And the rebounds on Ana Kumpo. Ana Kumpo with this rebound, he just definitely didn't go for it. James, what a perfect three pointer. And they're up by seven. Here's Young. And the foul is called on Jokic. That goes on Team LeBron with his first team foul. What a great job here for LeBron James. We're glad that we missed him back from 2018, that he has played here in Cleveland, Ohio. What is your take, guys, here from how hard he has worked on? I guess say he's doing very, very comfortable out there. Well done for LeBron James. And he really won it all. Back in 2016, he made his win. Only one win for the M NBA Finals, and they were the champions here after defeating the Warriors at the game. And then 2017 to 18, it was their turn for the Warriors to take the win. Oh, on the Kumpo! What a play here after Curry with the assist. And they're up by seven. I like that one. That's a great pass. Great alley -oop. Successful on defender. Wiggins right to Morant. Fades, finds MB. And a great D here on Nikola Jokic as he's picked up his first rebound. Ida Kumpo finds MB. Oh, MB got the ball. And the defenseman is up back again. And a great shot here for Jason Tatum as he picks up his first bucket from Boston Celtics. Jason Tatum, I haven't seen him playing already. I don't know what he is doing, but it's very hard after he was missing out from his game. It looks like uh, Tatum is trying to figure things out, trying to recover the injury. I have not seen him playing. I don't know what's wrong with him, but if he's okay right now, and he'll be back in the game. We'll keep us posted here once we get it back a chance. We're left down to two minutes to play in the first quarter, and new changes are going to be coming up after the next dead ball. Curry for three. Got it! And that toes for another three-pointer for Team LeBron as the first timeout call by Team Joel. A lot of great hustling out there. I really like the strength. And right now they're waiting on for our new players to be released. They're going to try to fix things up a bit with a notch or two. I like that one too. This one's very good. Those players are doing really awesome out there. And, I'm, and we definitely did see the contract that it was James Harden that made a change here. And they traded to the Philadelphia 76ers. And Ben Simmons and Seth Curry, along with Andre Drummond, are also traded too. They are right down on the other side of the lane. And of course, that sticks with us. That means that Joel and B and James Harden are in, are in a line of matchup. So it looks like they're gonna try to fix things up a bit. We, let's see how well they can do without Ben Simmons, Curry, and Andre Drummond, because now they're all reporting here to Brooklyn Nets. Here are some new changes here for Team Joel and LeBron. We have Chris Middleton, and along with LaMelo Ball, Zach Levine, Rudy Gobert, and Carl Anthony Towns. And on the ever change up here, that turns to be Butler, Harden, Mitchell, and Paul. And here's Middleton. First drive, off a bit. Great rebound by Jimmy Butler from Miami Heat. Hard it up. And oh, the first foul is called on Rudy Gobert. Guys, the last game that we talked about it before, it was his best defenseman player of the game after beating against San Antonio Spurs. What is your take here for Rudy Gobert? Well, Rudy Gobert is just very hard. And while Silver Spoon is speaking out to him, he's doing very hard. A lot of great hustling and bustling on the move.
I really like his strength. Yeah, I agree. Most of the time that Rudy Gobert was trying to pick his way up right in, a, in the bucket, he's like a he's like a killer and all star of uh, the best defenseman player of the game. And I think the last time he might do it again for this season. If he wins with the team to move on or even stop here, of course, to face against the other team, first, second, or the Eastern or Western Conference. And James hits two free throws here as it goes up by 10. LaMelo Ball, haven't seen that one run, but we'll have to see what it is. Zach Levine, he has definitely played in the All-Star game, but now this is his time to make his step up to go to the future. Towns, stepping in, no good. That's Mitchell with the rebound from Utah Jazz. Hall, outside, goes right to Butler. Hall back outside, try to defend it, hard and on Middleton. James going back in there, five to shoot, hard in for three. Good, that leads up with a best fifth player of the game. That's Mitchell, see assist. Levine outside, finds Gobert. Gobert right to Lomelo Ball, and a screen will help him out for Carl Anthony. Ball. Smooth drive. That will be a first bucket from the Hornets. LaMelo Ball, not really well at that point. If you really see that drive, that's what you're going to have to do when you help with the screen. Mitchell, no problem, and nobody is on to him. He's got his first bucket. They're all right around him. Middleton, almost went with a bad pass, but that was close. Gobert, back up again, that's good, that will be another bucket for Team Joel as Rudy Gobert picks up two for Jazz. Only 11 seconds to go, Mitchell, can he fight it? And that said, you can never go wrong with that. Here's Middleton, finds Levine. Middleton, Levine for the buzz beater, and that goes off target. That ends the first quarter, 23 for LeBron and 10 for Team Joel. Well, they're going to have to start getting up to that point. We'll have to see what they can do when we come back. Second quarter underway right now as the score has reached up 23 to 10 of the first quarter. So the players are back on the lineup. Right now we have Zach Levine trying to pick up his run. And here's Levante Murray from San Antonio Spurs as he plays the last game from the run. And for you guys, for Devonte Murray, he has quite been playing so far. And along with the other player, Devin Booker, he realized he wants to come in with the drive and he wants to pick things up. What is your take here for Devonte Murray as he tries to pick a runner? And the best player of the game from New Balance. I expect that New Balance was very hard for him. Oh, what a great shot for Chris Paul. I expect that Devontae Murray really has a struggle from his feeling. When I recall it back from the uh, other game that you have already done here for, this, for the Spurs and the Heat, they really are trying to look forward into it, but not to confess with other players that are really having a hard time. And it's very hard when they can try to pick things up. Devontae Murray, they really need to try to keep it up on the run. But that will be the hard on struggle if they can face it up here, guys. James on Booker as the score is now 25 to 12. Mitchell for three. That's in there. Another three-pointer for Team LeBron. And they're all going wild because LeBron James is back in Cleveland. Yeah, everybody misses him. I know that's the move. Oh, what a play here, Zach Levine. That'll be his second bucket from the Bulls. They're trying to come back in there. James on Towns. Trying to play a smart and aggressive drive. What a great team here for Carl Anthony Towns as that will be rebounded by Chris Middleton. Levine trying to pick up a smoothing run, trying to preset it. Finds Booker. Hooker up, 
floaters in. Hooker's got a first bucket here for the Suns. Now the first timeout called out by Team LeBron. Booker, what a show. He's right in there. He's really never going to leave if he wants to pick up a run. And we never see the last game here. We haven't done the 2018 one of Team LeBron and Team, Team Giannis. I don't know what's going to happen with you guys, but there's another one that they can try to fix things on. And with another changeup, they'll be right in it after this. And let's have a, a quick look, because one of those players can definitely have it better. And if they don't have it all, then they need to start switching it up. Andrew Wiggins, Tatum, and Embiid are checked back in. Plus, Fred Van Vliet will have a first look here on the court from Toronto Raptors. Yo, catch up. Hits the rim. Rebound by Garland. Oh, and B with the denying the shot. That turned around the other way. What a great block here for Joel and B. The process going strong. Looking for him tonight. Wiggins drives up forward, and that's good. Andrew Wiggins gets his first bucket in this one. With only 3.15 gone by, it's 28 to 18. They're trailing by 10. Jokic up, rebounded by Embiid. Embiid strolling off with his motion. Not really sure what he can do, but he might do it right on time. And you guys gotta watch out for the uh, Honor de Kupo. He's right over there. You don't wanna see that. If there's any ever changes, then you gotta keep an eye on it. Wiggins up. Shot, no good. Ida Kumpa with the rebound. It's only Fred Van Vliet. And never got a chance to hit the bucket. Bad pass. Jason Tatum got it. And with a three-on-one breakaway. Oh, Giannis. And it goes out of bounds. Wow. What a play. Giannis on a Kumpa. Love one more block here from Mobile One. That was Joel Embiid. And with the round the other way, that was Ida Kumpo. Wow, those guys are doing really good so far. I expect that Joel Embiid is just doing a lot better. I don't know what to say about that, but that's uh, that's curious somehow. I really like that. That's that's really good. That's a great defenseman out there. And also with Giannis. I like that. Tatum up. Driving in. And pick it up away. Garland takes the ball from the home of Cleveland Cavaliers. Another round. Oh, DeRozan dunks it down. And it goes with a two-point bam for the Bulls. Tatum up. Shot's good. That's another bucket for the Celtics of Jason Tatum. Two minutes to go here for the first half. It's 30 to 20. Here's Jokic. Jokic short on that jump. Didn't have that one to take, but that's very hard. Here's Embiid. Picking back up by Murray. Murray to Booker. Bounce pass to Tatum. Tatum right to Murray. Murray finding a look on Embiid. And that shot's good. And you're picking up by eight. Ten to two run the last three or four seconds. And we're under a minute and a half remaining here for the first half. Here's Jokic. Jokic has to do something else. Another great D on Embiid. I like that one. That's the best play you can't go wrong with. And with that, that's how it turns it off. Hanakubo has a bad pass of being released on Team Joel. Or I call it Team Process. Great D. And a lot of rebound here for the hustle of Joel Embiid. Tatum moves in. Great shot. That's another two-point bucket for Jason Tatum from the Celtics. I expect that. That Jason Tatum is really keeping an eyes on that. But I don't think he wasn't really doing anything. He wasn't trying to keep him, him alive. But for Jason Tatum, it's very hard for him. Now all the defenders right here are not picking up. They were not looking for a good defender on offense. And they were very having a hard time, but it never really caught up. He's really doing that. Jason Tatum needs to get back in there, and hopefully he will try to keep it going. Oh, what a nice shot here by by, uh, by Murray from the San Antonio Spurs. And now they're coming back in there. Garland on him. 
And 13 seconds to go here. Only 10 seconds remaining. Garland try to uh, try to make around the ankle. DeRozan going in. Good. That's a number two bucket, and they will have to leave it off for the first time. The best plays out there. I like that. And with the half court, can he make it? Oh, it was short off the rim, but that closes the first half. 34 to 26 is your score. They're still up again. And we'll catch you on this break. We'll be right back after this one. Here's your first half look for the All-Star of 2022, LeBron and Joel. how they did in the first half. Thanks for joining us. Let's get you back on the court. And we welcome you back here for the All-Star Game of 2022 of Team Joel and Team LeBron and Cleveland, Ohio. Let's take on a look on here for this player. We recognize it before, Donovan Mitchell, only had made seven points, one rebound and one assist. But that is a lot of more tough relationship out there if he's trying to pick up his game. What's your take here for for Jonathan Mitchell as he had played well here for the last couple of the games before the All-Star? I know that it was, it was very not hard, very difficult strength. I, I'm seeing a lot of way off target here. Oh wow, I don't think Hooper. Like he's a killer. Sorry about that, but he's, he's doing really hard how he is trying to pick his way on his run. I don't know what to say. That's really going to be very tough for him. And for, for Donovan Mitchell, if he wants to help things up, he can try to do it the other way, or he can stick it that way instead. He's very good at that point. What a great hustle here for Donovan Mitchell, and we really like it. Wiggins makes a three. That goes up again for another three-pointer ball as this ball goes up for Timberwolves three-pointer. Timberwolves, they really know that Andrew Wiggins really had all. Only two All-Star players did the best here. Carl Anthony Towns and Andrew Wiggins. DeRozan setting up a spit. And a first bucket try scores. Nikola Jokic. That will be a first bucket for Denver Nuggets. Finally, an unanswered call right there, but they got it back. I like that. Tatum right to Young. Young sets the screen on Joel. He goes right in there. Ball's knocked away. He goes and got it all. Looking on a run after they make that reset. Screen rejected. And a set great D here on Joel and B. This will be another off-target angle for, for Team LeBron. 4-10 to go. Morant trying to look forward from the cover. Tatum. Inside, uh, and try to reach it out, but he doesn't want to travel it. Jason Tatum off, and Bede recovers the ball. That goes the back up by eight. Joel Embiid, he's like very tough on this string. I don't know what he could say about that, but you really got to like get the good rebound and get that timing done. And now the next timeout will fall out by Team LeBron, as Curry will have to uh, talk things over for LeBron and all the team of the players. So a lot of setups are turning out there very badly, but I don't know who's the head coach for Team LeBron or Team Joel. It's very hard to kind of figure this out. We're not sure who's the head coach here for this one. Over the take of it, it's a lot hard, but that happens. And if you stick around here later for the next game, it will be back here at Cleveland as the Trailblazers are going to or face a battle against Cleveland Cavaliers in Ohio, which is right here. And I have to assume here, after the last game of the regular season, we had the All-Star game. We just didn't realize what's going on. But it's a very hard take. And with that example, it really does it for a lot. 
I don't know what to say, but that's very hard to try to fix it up and not get over it. I also definitely agree. But if there's no other players, we may not have enough uh, coach to uh, try to fix things on. If there's Steve Nash or Doc Rivers or even anybody from offense, it would be very hard to try to fix things up here without the players. They could forfeit the game if they are trying to pick up with the number one. After the shot by James Harden, here's LaMelo Ball. He will wish off to dish off to Levine. Right to Gobert. Back to LaMelo Ball. Ball right to Middleton. Middleton up. Shot. Short off the run. That will be another miss by Team Low Joel. Hall reaching in. All right, out, snap, back outside, trying to fix it around a bit. And Paul delivers the three. That's a number three pointer for Phoenix Suns. Phoenix Suns turning out terrific here in this season. Chris Paul's going to love it too when he faces against the Sixers of the defending champions. Not for real, but here's Gobert. Middleton fades off. And that's another basket for Team Joel as Middleton gets that number bucket from the Milwaukee Bucks. Off into another run. Here's Paul. Dish off to James. Gobert. Great D. And he got the ball back without Jimmy Butler going over it. And he finds Gobert. Nice drive. Gobert gets a number one. That's Utah Jazz. Second bucket. With a lot of great technique, Gobert's doing well. Butler, well played out there. That's another two-pointer after they put up a win against Memphis Grizzlies. And just two minutes remaining in the third quarter, here's Lobello Ball. Middleton back to Ball. Here's a screen. Gobert will have to handle it. Ball off the reach and very late on that call, not picking up well. Mitchell on the corner finds Butler. Wrap around. Try to fix it. And a nice D covered for Jason Tatum as Carl uh, Anthony Towns gets it back. A nice defender. I like that you've got hustle work out there. And you don't want to make a mistake here. If there's a foul called on your team or a foul on each player that does any mistake. Oh, Tatum! Oh, we better check that one out. Oh, we got a good one here. Zach Levine, are you kidding me? That's the best play that turns out to be wrong. Oh, wow. Levine, he's like a, not just anything, a slam dunk contestant that goes with a dunk. Trying to make a perfect score out there. And that is your slam dunk, folks. Another three-pointer for Donovan Mitchell, and that was presented by AT&T 5G. Levine, another drive. That's a good bucket run, and are down by 10. 50 seconds to remain in the third quarter, trying to pick up a close run on offense and defense. Ball on Paul. Butler up. Nice basket, and that's another two-point and assist by Paul. From Miami Heat, to the Suns. Levine finding ball. Back to Levine. Free on Middleton. Very late, but he had it all as a three-pointer counts by for the Bucks. Scoring big here and by eight. Pretty sure. I think it's going to be a close-on matchup, but we're not sure what's going to happen. You'll see. Back pass. Towns got it back. And now the attacker coming in, Zach Levine. And run out of bounds, that's Team LeBron Ball. With 10 seconds gone by, new change here for Team LeBron and Team Joel. Booker and Murray are checked back in for Paul. I'm sorry, for Ball. And one more look for the block for Joel Embiid as he goes by. Yes, that's a great communication here. I, I think that's a great, uh, great uh, skills that Joel Embiid had. But he's not back on the court. We're going to see if he can try to take it all at once. James Mitchell, five seconds to go. And can he pick it up? Yes, he does. That's James, another bucket for Team LeBron. 
And here comes the buzz beater. Doesn't hit that time. That misses off the target. 53 to 42 is the score. When we're going to get close things up here with the last quarter remaining. Will it be LeBron win it all? Or Team Joel make a comeback and try to avenge it off? It's up next. After this message, don't go anywhere. It's your look. Let's have a look at the State Pharmacist of a game of the All-Star. And one thing, I'm just checking it out. Team LeBron, a killer out there. And I see that. That's a great play on that one, but that's just quite hard. It looks, and it gets better for those players. Without even trading in for Luka, Luka Doncic and those guys, they really had it all. And Stephen Curry, he's the best player. Glad you have, we have played three quarters at that point, and now we're all set to fuel up for the final quarter of the All-Star game. And there you have it. That's another alley-oop for Team LeBron. That was Ida Kumpo a second time after the assist by Garland. Garland from the Cleveland Cavs did a, did a terrific outstanding performance. Not sure what he will do. Booker, an amazing three-pointer, another three-point ball from Phoenix Suns. That's going to be a hard pressure to take from here. Not sure if it can handle it all, but you'll have to just wait and see. Curry, a three-pointer for the Warriors, and they're up extending it. Booker outside, trying to go back in there. Rebound by Tatum. They will have to reset it from the top. Screen coming. Tatum. And a foul and one for Murray. Garland picks up his first foul from Cleveland Cavaliers. And I'll be up with 4.58 remaining in the fourth quarter. No fouls called here for those two in the second and third quarter, but only one for the first. I'm sorry, no fouls in the first. We do have a first foul, foul from Team Joel. And first foul in the fourth quarter, Team LeBron. But right now, they're gonna see what they can do here. After the bucket, here's one shot. And he has it. Murray's doing really hard. His strength is going to be very, uh, very uncomfortable if he tries to like try to face the right at timing and they attack. If he doesn't get there in time, that's going to be a very hard problem here for Devon Dehante Murray and for the team All Star team Joel. It'll be very hard to pick it up. Three for Wiggins. That's good. They're coming back in, folks. Down by seven. And Curry will have to fix it off from here. Garland, finding out of the Kupo. Great job, a great communication here for Team LeBron. And they're up by nine. Booker coming in, driving. And he goes up with the layup. They're going down by seven once again. A lot of heavy contests. Not sure what they're gonna do. Jokic up. Missed again, that's another rebound on Embiid. They're gonna have to try to face it off. Booker, here he comes! Oh my goodness! Booker with a drive, and he's dunking crazy. No offense on that, you can't take him out of here if he tries to slam it or finish the drive. I, I expect that's true, that's definitely very good. Not sure what he does. Finding Jokic. Rebound. Oh, MB got it, and he's out of bounds. That turns into be Joel Ball. And now the new change is here for Team Team Joel as Moranch checked back in for Murray. No switches here for Team LeBron as they are still in good position. Morant will have to try to face it from another attack. Looking over, Tatum. Back to Booker. Booker right to Morant. Morant. Fade off, inside, got it! That's your first bucket here for Memphis Grizzlies of John ja Moran. John ja Moran really picked it off strong. I definitely did see that before. Oh, turn around the other way. That's a, that's a slam dunker on Garland from the, your Cavaliers. That turns out great, fantastic so far. I like it. 
Wiggins, free again and again, and they're coming out to a tight game. They're down by two. Maybe the next one could be the leadoff change. Booker on him. Jokic doesn't quit here. That goes with a dunk, and they're up by four. Embiid looks it over. Morant finds Embiid, rejected, and they have it back. Booker fixes up the proper way. Moran goes her up for a triple. Oh, he doesn't make it that time. That was going to be a close one. I thought they're going to be down by one. Well, that's very tough. I would have had that same answer here, too, but it didn't really help. Morant tried to fix it around. Jay Tatum will try to help it out. Morant driving in the paint. And that's another dunk on the Team Joel. Morant not even slowing down. He really does that. He gets it in there, and no questions asked. We're just about two minutes here, as they will have to take the next timeout for Team LeBron. It's 64-62. This next one could be a tight battle here in between those guys. I mean, last time it went right into overtime. That took long and expected. I'm not sure what you guys are saying. What's your take for the for the win? Will it, will it be a tie or will it be going to overtime? I guess that I guess that's going to be a very tough call for me. I expect that this could be the end of the game for for Team Joel and LeBron. And I don't know what to say, but this is like the tough offense and defense they're picking up. And there's your head coach here for Team LeBron. That is. Uh, that is going to be the, uh, the, the other side for uh, coach from Phoenix Suns. Not just heard about that one here, but they really have it all. They're trying to pick this one inbound, and with another, another look on the other side. And for, and for the head coach, we are not sure what's it going to be. Let's present the New Balance player of the game, and this one goes out to the best player from Team LeBron, the Greek Freak. Giannis Antetokounmpo. And yes, I did expect that was going to be a very tough call here. I'm not sure if Giannis Antetokounmpo can do it again, but if he does it, one side up, and he will have the best play on offense and gets. And a foul, and he makes a shot. That's for Jokic's second personal foul, and another team foul on Team LeBron. Great pass here for John Moran. And Joel Embiid, he's like a um, huge captain on the bound. I don't know what to say about that one, but that's hard. It goes through. And Eric Spolstra, the head coach from Miami Heat and with Team Joel, they really kept it off. And now Joel Embiid will have to take the lead if he can make it. Yes, sir! Joel Embiid got the bound. It's the bound off the ball, makes a shot, and they're up by one. They had it for the first time since, since the other guys had it. Curry, are you kidding me? What is going on with him? Oh boy. That's like a best play, it's in a bounder already. Curry making a three, and they're back up by two. Now this will have to be another changeoff to be an offense and defense if they wanted to pick it up. Curry, he's like the best player in the, in the NBA history. I don't know what to tell you, but that's a great play on offense to help them pick up the run here and try to close things up here. Not sure what they could do, but that's a that's a best play. Here are the comparisons for Team LeBron and Team Joel. 65 points turned out to be a huge success, but the leadoff change with Curry trying to pick it back up in the lead by 67 points. Two steals for Team LeBron and two steals for Joel. And three blocks turned out to be a tight battle, even even, but one lead turnover was going to be up for two for Team LeBron. That's going to be a very tough one. I hope this game does turn out to be excitement. I'm hoping this will be the uh, closeout game if they can try to handle it. Let's find out if this is if this will be the end for Team Joel to face off. Booker on Koyana Kupo. 
Morant. Finding over with a shot, and they got it back. They're tying it up. 67. Morant, easy drive, easy buckets. Can't hurt him, and he has that feeling on his strength. Switch off change. Curry in the lead. Yes, sir! Curry, our best player that gets. And put up three-point lead. Wiggins, right over to Morant. And going back in there. No, he cannot. That has to stop the game on its run, folks. James Curry, he does it again. That's another bucket here for the other team. And change up. Oh, here comes Embiid. Fades. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we're going to be out here all night long. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's like a best play. I'll never dunk here. We got too many slam dunk competitions. Reaching foul called on Andrew Wiggins. Trying to attempt it, but it went late. That's because of him. The foul was called. A bad pass. Oh, boy. This is going to be a very tough one. Morant to tie it. Yes. He does, and they are stopping the run without the last playing possession of Team LeBron. Last time out called by Team LeBron, and they were gonna have to, we're gonna have to like make some other changes here. We're out of gas now, out of breath for me. And uh, not for me, phone or OJ, but you guys are still good. Uh, all right, I guess that's gonna be it for the best call at getting for the best play of a drive. I don't know what to say, best best drive? I think that turns out to be a best play duel on the court for the All-Star crews. And for players, they were really high at all. Not the strength, no, a close zero reek. We really had it off that way. And besides, with uh, Eric Spokestra, he has to tell his uh, players to get right in the court. And if they can't have any open man in this one, they will have to be a defensive breakdown. And with only last timeout for Team Joel, you know, there are no timeouts here for Team LeBron as they will have to try to do their best. And now, if they make the bucket, it will be the last timeout for Team Joel. And another bad pass. And here's Wiggins. Lead off, Tatum does it. Devin Booker. A uh, finishing game to pick up a lead up by two, and they have it all. Here's LeBron on Wiggins. Try to not take the foul on that one. Curry on Moran. Curry coming in to drive it. Short, rebounded, and that will have to stop the game here as a foul calls on Ana de Pupo, their third team foul on Team LeBron. And now we will be at the free throw line. It will be Andrew Wiggins with 5.6 seconds from the Timberwolves. A lot of huge frustration out there, but we're glad to see LeBron James, LeBron, I'm sorry, LeBron James for the correction, back on the court. I'm happy for him, but he really did a great job and with all the hard work he done, he showed it off better. And yes, I, I guess that's uh, that's a true thing that, that turns out. I really like it. And a second shot went off wide. And looks like Giannis will have to go for half court. Oh, uh, looks like nobody had gone to half court, but that has to end the game, folks. Your final score for tonight of the All-Star in 2022. 75 to 72, Team Joel wins it all in the Eastern Conference section. And that's going to be at the end of the game. And with the best player of New Balance player in the game is Giannis Antetokounmpo. But we will have to see who's the best three-star players of the game. And that was by T-Shot, the buzz beater that gets it through. And that's it. With along the crew. We would like to thank you for watching for the NBA All-Star of 2K22 in Cleveland, Ohio. Let's have a look at the three stars players of the game. Let's have your take here. 
Mr. OJ. Who do we have here for Team LeBron or Team Joel? Well, that play is going to be a very tough call, but if my decision turns out to be more and better, it's going to be Andrew Wiggins. Uh, best play that does it here for us. Not sure how well he does, but he's really done a great steal. Not to shoot soon, if however, but it gets a great drive out of anybody else. And let's have your take here on me, phone. What's number two star for the other team? On the number two star, I expect, uh, I expected that that was a very good call, but that will be Giannis Anadokounmpo, the second star of this game. Really turned out to be one best particular motion here. Three blocks, not a bad call. No fouls to give him. Well, only one. And one dunk with the alley-oop successful run. I like that drive, and that turned out to be a best player defenseman of the year. It could be a tie in between Rudy Gobert or Anadokounmpo, but you'll never know what will happen. And now, let's have your take here on number one, Son of Beast. You finish it all. Thank you so much, your Mifun. Your number one star of the game that turned out to be back up here. And I expected that. It was the best play it gets from here. That was a um, good drive here. And not to, not to go with wrong with that, it was Joel Embiid. He made a terrific 10 rebounds, 4 assists, and 3 blocks in the game along with seven points in a row. I like that play. A lot of hustle and bustling. That's a best defenseman player to rebound it and try to help the team out. And with Team Joel win it all, he will have to prove himself to get better. And that's going to be the end, folks, along with me, Phone, OJ, and me, Son of Beast. This has been a presentation of the NBA All-Star of 2K22 of this sport channel. And for being said, peace out everyone for as a while as the NBA All-Star 2022 of Cleveland Dial. Take care!